Good morning. Smells very smoky out here today. I read that on the weather report uh, saying that we can expect poor air quality today. There's a lot of fires burning east of here and, or is it just west of here? Probably just west of here. There's a lot of fires burning all around us actually. And uh, not too close. We're not in any danger here. But uh, the winds are blowing the smoke into our area here right now. You can definitely smell it out here. clear ones this morning and I don't use them as often but it's not going to be sunny today and it's earlier than usual. I've got an early appointment this morning at work so I've got to get going a little bit earlier which means it's going to be a little bit colder. So I have to bundle up and hopefully the smoke doesn't get too bad out here. I forget exactly where all the fires are burning but there's so many it's just like last summer and the summer before. Always smoky. Wonderful. How do I look? Got to dress warm warmer mitts. Temperature right now is 12 degrees Celsius, but it's supposed to go up to 21 today. Now I never started here. It's way too noisy. It'll wake up my wife. It'll wake up the neighbors. I walk it down to the street to point the exhaust away from all the houses. And then I start it down there and let it warm up there. Well, I guess it's time to go trucking. I gotta find myself a flatbed trailer and some tarps. We're gonna be doing some tarping this morning. Hello! Hello, hello. Be honest. Did you miss me? We're in Toulon, Manitoba right now. And look at that. I had to tarp my load. I guess they were all out of roll tights for today. And uh, needed me to go pick this up. Usually I'd pick this up in a roll tight, but I guess this works too. Get a freshen up on my tarping abilities, my tarping skills a little bit. What do you guys think? Can I do a good job? It's just a small load. And we're here at the Petro Pass. We're gonna grab some fuel. Look at this, half the trailer, if that. Very light. So that was fun. At least I know I can still do it, right? <laughs> still know how to do it. So I don't know if I'm going to be unloading this. I'm assuming when I get to the yard, 
I don't know if I'm just gonna leave it tarped in the yard on the trailer or if we're gonna untarp it and I'm gonna grab all my equipment back uh, off it. I'd like to get my straps back off of there. We'll worry about that later for now. We need some of this wonderful juice. Where's the thingamajigger? Oh, it's over there, okay. Been sort of off off a little bit this week. Mama's still sick. It's gonna be a long recovery, so. Uh, my mind has been uh, all over the place. Oh, what pump is that? Pump five? Pump five, I choose you. Please use pump selected. All right, oh, somebody's having fun over here. Ooh. Tell you what, it wasn't me. I don't think this old girl has it in her. But you never know. You never know. I believe in her. Oh, am I a little bit too far over here? Oh, shoot. This is pump five. Or is this pump five also? Which side is which? I think this is... Oh, yeah. That's resetting there. Okay. <laughs> I thought I started the wrong pump at first. There we go. See, it's all the way up there. One pump for both sides. Pump's pretty fast, but... And when we're done over here, we just string it across there to the other side. Fill up the other side with the same pump. Mm. I love the smell of diesel fuel. Is that bad? Signals, my friend. No signals. I guess I should put my signal on if I'm criticizing him. Here we go. Let's go this way. Oh, well, you guys want to go this way? I want to go this way. Home is this way. I've got to be right back here in Toulon tomorrow. I just got the message while I was fueling up. Hopefully they'll have a roll tight for me then. We'll see if I got a tarp it, I'll tarp it. I got no problems doing that. I would just prefer the roll tight, obviously, but that's just me. Have any of you ever driven one of these before? corner again this is the blind corner where you can't see both directions of traffic and you got to try to just wing it and just send it and just dive across whenever you think it's safe easy with a car or pickup but with a 75 foot truck trailer sometimes can be a little bit time consuming waiting for an opening I don't think it should be too bad right now because it's only 2:30. Right after this guy, I'll probably... Oh, nope, another one coming. Oh, there's lots. Of... Oh, this won't be bad at all. After this guy, we're good. 2.30. Oh, oh boy, ambulance coming. Ambulance coming. Ah, okay, my bad. We get out of the way. That's what I mean, see? 
he's coming over the bridge. I couldn't even see him. I really can't wait till they do something about this whole intersection here. So the yard is just a hop, skip, and hump around here. Still got to figure out what they want me to do with this load. If they're just going to leave it on the trailer under the tarps or... I have no idea. It's still a bit chilly this afternoon. So I'm going to put my windbreaker on. Just in case. to get everything geared up and ready to go. When I take the bike to work, I always have to get up a little earlier and leave at least 15 minutes earlier because it just takes, takes extra time to get everything ready, but it's worth it. What you doing by the door, man? Get down. Get down. You can't stand by the door. All of you guys do this. The door opens this way. You can't stand here and try to get in. The door has to open. It's barbecue time again. Oh, yeah. Brain burgers. The only burgers we eat now. They're so good. It's actually, uh, it's got guacamole. Guacamole? Oh, cheese. It's got cheese in it. Oh, boy, my mouth is watering just thinking about it. I'm all changed out of my work stuff. Got my PJs on, showered up. What am I making over here? Got brioche buns. Oh, we don't have those same buns anymore. No, we're out of those ones. I made you. Uh, I made you a sandwich for your lunch with the last one last night. And it was delicious. So what are these? Are these are these good too? These are brioche. Uh oh, somebody's barking. You go tell them quiet. It's always the commander, such a bossy guy. And this is cabbage borses for tomorrow? Uh, for tomorrow and for your dad and for my dad. Mm -hmm. My dad's at home all by himself right now while mom's in the hospital. So, uh, Britt's making some food for him because she's awesome. And my sister Rose is also, uh, also making him something. I saw something in the con conversation there. She's going to make him something as well. And Cheryl's been bringing him stuff. And the whole family's sort of just been taking care of each other and making sure Dad's okay because it must feel very empty. And it's uh, he's usually uh, on the road, right? And then when he's home, Mom's always there. It's not very often that he's at the house and Mom's not there. So it's... The one thing I'm good at, so I'm going to do it for him. Mm -hmm. Cook. <laughs> Make sure he's not eating A&W every single day. And even though, getting his veggies in. I'm even though I don't sure blame that. him. I don't blame him. A&W is oh, the best. Oh, it's delicious. <laughs> uh, mm, 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 mm. How do you like your burgers? Barbecuey, extra barbecuey, or super duper barbecuey? Extra barbecuey. Extra. Okay. Don't overdo it. Okay. Yes, this is the best part of the burger. See, you cook the burger till it's pretty much almost done, and then you spread this right over here so that it has a chance to caramelize on there. And cook right into the burger. Mm -hmm. You do it on the other side too, but don't do it right away, because otherwise it's gonna it's gonna char and burn on there. You don't wanna do that. I've done that a couple of times. Maybe more than a couple of times, if you ask Britt. Maybe she'll be nice and just say it was once. It only happened once. Oh, she does love me. <laughs> and we only undercooked chicken, what, three times? Yeah, I say we only. I did it too. <laughs> she says we, she means me. She's just being very nice right now because she's hungry and I'm making burgers. <laughs> okay. Spread that barbecue sauce up on there and you just mm, flip it over. That's why you want them to be almost done. 
because you, you definitely don't want to leave it like this too long. You don't want it to burn. The barbecue sauce will turn black. Put some on the other side here just a little bit. Mm. Yes. Just give that a minute to cook right in. What are you doing back out here, Commander? You're the one who can't keep his mouth shut, right? Hey. Just because I made you a commander doesn't mean you can speak whenever you want to. This guy's got a bit of a loud mouth. Thinks he's a tough guy. Thinks he's a really, really tough guy. Right? 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 Show him how tough you are. Show him how tough you are. Show him how tough you are. Come on. Oh, I'm real tough. Come with me. Where are we going? Commander's gonna show us how tough he is. Yeah? Yeah. I bet. You see the way my muscles flex when I walk? Yeah, I'm tough. <laughs> and that there's the finished product. Ketchup, tomato, lettuce, and mayonnaise. What do you put on your burger? Oh, and of course barbecue sauce, don't forget. That's like the main ingredient. I like a, a lot of barbecue sauce with a side of burger. Have you tried it yet? Is it good? Is it good? Is it to your satisfaction? It's busy in her phone. Is it good? I haven't tried it yet. No I only more. had a tomato slice. How was the tomato? Not as good as homegrown, but we're getting there. We got four. Four coming along on our plant. <laughs> oh, how nice of you to bow to them all. How nice of you to bow to everybody. He thinks you're all kings and queens. It's a compliment. So we went up to Toulon in this video today. Uh, that aerial shot you saw was uh, in Toulon there. Sorry, no, we went up to Arburg. We had to tarp it. Uh, Toulon is the town I showed you there. Uh, it was It's a nice little town. That's becoming sort of a regular route for me. I really like going through there. I'm getting very familiar with it. And, uh, you know, everything always looks much more beautiful from the sky. It sure does, so. Anyway, that's it for the video today. Those burgers were delicious. We've been having... I guess this last week we had them quite a few times, but uh, <laughs> they're good. What can you say? We recommend them. Have any of you tried them yet? And are they available at any other stores around the world? Have you guys ever seen brain burgers like that before? Is it out here? You can only get them at Sobeys, which is like a local food chain grocery store thing. Oh well. We'll see you in tomorrow's video, everybody. Take care. Don't forget to like the video. If you did like it, hit that subscribe button. If you're new here, we'd love to have you stick around. You can go back through all our past videos over the past 10 years that I've been doing this. We're going to keep doing it. So I'd love to have you along for the ride. Tell your friends if you, if you like it. Chances are they will too. See you tomorrow.